welcome to Kyoto, the old capital city of Japan. The city has so much to offer. There is over 1,600 Buddhist temples and around 400 Shinto shrines. But if you want to go back in time and feel the atmosphere of the city, you need to get up really early because the city is packed with tourists. In the evening, you should definitely go to visit Gion area, the part of Kyoto where they are still standing all traditional Japanese buildings. And if you are lucky, you might spot geisha. But don't forget to be respectful and don't take pictures without the permission. happens when you are just wandering around in Kyoto in the morning and we were just seeing where to go and we saw this temple here we just went in and watch this and it's again you know just walk and open your eyes and you find the best places just walk the so-called philosopher's path here in Kyoto in the district of Higashiyama. It is called philosopher's path after professor of philosophy Nishida Kitaro. He supposed to be one of the most famous Japanese philosopher. We don't really know the Japanese philosophers so <laughs> we can't say much about them. But this path was called after this professor of the philosophy was working on the Kyoto University and he was walking every day to work at the Kyoto University. This path is about two kilometers long. It has many shrines and temples along this way. And there are supposed to be also many cafes and restaurants on the way, but we are here early in the morning, so everything is closed still. And it's supposed to be really beautiful during the cherry blossoms in the springtime. And also in the autumn when the trees are changing their colors. So I think it is really nice and relaxing place to just go for a walk and escape a little bit from the city. Although I like Kyoto until now very much. It's not too crowded and it's not too busy. At least there where we live. We stood up today around 5 o'clock to be really early at this place. The full name of it is Fushimi Inari Taisha. This is like very important shrine in the southern of Kyoto. This is so called this shrine of 10,000 Tori gates. They are dedicated to Inari. This is a Shinto god of rice and agriculture, but it is also nowadays known as a god of business. That's why the private people and uh, companies, they also donate this story. That's why there are so many of them. And the prices there are starting from 400,000 yen for the smaller one up to over 1 million yen for a bigger yeah. gate. 
we were there about maybe around half past six this morning and it was already fully packed there yeah. was a lot of people there inside they, everybody wants to take the best pictures for the instagram or whatever yeah and we also did it we managed to take a couple of pictures people were so nice and they were waiting because there is no other way to do this no not really it's all pictures in the internet this is just the illusion that it is looking like that that it is so empty and you mm. can take a picture there's always somebody walking there always somebody going into your picture so it is basically every time we made a small clip or we made a picture there were a bunch of people standing behind us and waiting until we were finished with it yeah and so. we also did it for the other ones yeah yeah of course anyway this is not like it looks like of course in the social media so don't be disappointed when disappointed. you come here exactly yeah. you have to stand up really early maybe i don't know around four be here uh, maybe around sunrise to have this place in a way for yourself this place is by the way open 24 7 and it's for free not to go in yeah so but we didn't see any light so maybe it doesn't make sense to go in the middle of the night here but yeah. what I wanted to say, roughly 10,000 tori was donated by Japanese business and approximately 800 of these are set up in the rows that give the impression of entering the tunnel. temple it is a big temple on the mountain more or less you have a really really nice view here over the city and it's worth it I think to come here behind me there you see this old building made from wood it is built without the nails it is a big terrace there it is around 13 meters high and uh, especially this is a highlight from the temple you can go there and having the view over Kyoto to go in here it is around 400 yen and you can wander around this temple this um, terrace here behind me it is quite interesting fact to know. It is said that there was a person jumping down 13 meters and this person survived. It was a kind of legend documentation. And nowadays it is known that around 230 and more people were jumping down the stairs and around the statistic says 85% survived. So this legend might be truth. Nobody knows. It is possible to survive because there are trees under it. It is possible. This uh, administration from this temple here, they were so smart they bought all the ground around this temple that uh, nobody can build some skyscrapers or some houses on the ground or beside the temple. Right now we saw this platform and we are going on now down. There is supposed to be a spring from the water you can drink, it's a holy water. Behind me, there is uh, holy water, which comes from Otava no Taki waterfall. And there are three springs, as you can see there. And the legend says you can have one of three wishes. You can wish for health, success, or a romantic relationship. And you can drink the water and wish for it. And you should never drink from three of them, because that would be greedy. You can go there and drink this water with this wish.
Bloopers. Maybe good that you cannot answer because I can have my monologue now. <laughs> if you really, really want to travel Japan on the budget, because you cannot afford something else, that's how this looks like. Where is this going to come in from? I don't see weight. Don't move. E. It is sweet. It is not. On the budget, baby. It's on the budget, baby. Yeah, do I look good or do I look bad? Subscribe. <laughs> oh my, not me mad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Even in the nice way, tells you that you are not allowed to sit here. They put the spikes on the stones. That was Kyoto. That's it, what you wanted to say? Anyway, I wanted to say more, but I forgot what.